Hey guys, it's Miss Harrison again, and I'm going to talk to you guys today about understanding human proportions. And proportions, if you remember, from the sixth grade side is a principle of art. So proportions are how things interact with other things. So that's the size of things, the nearness of things, uh, what makes something look realistic? What makes it look unrealistic? That's going to be your proportion. So, um, we're going to be talking about realistic proportions today. We want it to look as real as possible. We're going to talk about human proportions because humans have their own way of breaking up our body into uh, different sizes so that we understand how it all comes together when we draw. So, general rules of a face. The eyes are halfway between the top of the head and the chin. I know that that seems like not right, like your eyes feel kind of high, but they're not. They're halfway between, they're halfway on your head, not your face, your whole head. And the bottom of the nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin. So if you can break your face up into a halfway mark and then choose and then make that half into half you can find the bottom of your nose and you can find the location of your eyes and that's done for you right then and there so you can break up your space to uh, figure out where things go the mouth is halfway between the nose and the chin so you just keep breaking things in half so from the bottom of the nose to the chin you have your mouth the the center of the mouth and the corners of the mouth line up with the centers of your eyes. So figure out where your eyes are going to go. Make them the roughly the correct width. Figure out where they're going to go. Then, then if you go down from the eyes, the center of the eyes, that's where the side of the, the corners of the lips are going to be. The top of the ears line up with the center of the eyes. Okay? And the bottom of the ears line up with the bottom of the nose. And if you sit there and look at this rule list and you and you think about your face and you move your fingers from like the bottom of your ears, you'll see that the your nose lines up with the bottom of your ears. If you move the tops of your ears, you move your fingers from the tops of your ears, you'll see that they line up with the center of your eyes. It's really cool. Really cool to feel how that how that goes. Your also your nose, like the sides of your nose, they line up with the corner, the inner corner of your eyes as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So the eyes are halfway between the top of the head and the face and the bottom of the chin. So the face is divided into three parts. You can look at the diagram, you can see this in blue. We have a third, a third, and a third. So from your hairline to your eyebrow is one third. From your eyebrow to the bottom of your nose is another third. And from your nose to your chin is the last third. So the distance between the eyes in green is your nose. And it's also the same width as an eye. So it's like an eye, an eye, an eye. You draw two of them, but the middle, that green part right there, is like the same width as another eye, okay? And when your mouth is not smiling, your mouth is kind of the same, same width as an eye as well. So your ear length is from your eyebrow to the bottom of your nose. So if you look at that light blue line, you can see from the eyebrow, so the bottom of your nose is an ear. So when you draw, you're going to want to look and, and think, okay, well, when I draw the top of my ear, is that where the eyebrow is? Or am I drawing it too high? Or am I drawing it too low? Things like that. This is just showing you a little bit more of that same thing. Um, this is telling you what the things on the face are called. Like, so the, the top of the head is called the crown. You have a forehead. Your temple is right there out beside your eye. Of course, you have your cheeks, your jaws, your chin. And it's showing you these proportions so that you have like a half face, a third of a face. And then it tells you how things break down. So when we think about proportion, though, we think about realism. When I think about proportion, I'm thinking about realistic 
proportion? How does it look on a real person? So if you look at little, like Ben Affleck right here, I think that's Ben Affleck. Yeah, you look at Ben Affleck right here. This is what he really looks like. But then you can also take your proportions and kind of like make them crazy. And then you get what's called a caricature or you've got cartoons and stuff. But like look at Ben Affleck here. They've taken his face and they've made it real skinny and they've made his chin real big. And he's got a bigger forehead. And that is making a caricature. So we can take proportion. And if we take it out of real, being realistic, it moves into being cartoony or to be a caricature. Okay. Same with this guy. He, this is a Baldwin guy. See his face? They made it shorter, fatter. They made his nose bigger. His lips are more pronounced. His hair is crazy big. All right, so with our body though, so we talked about our face. With our body, there's no exact standard of like how a human body is gonna look. Um, we do tend to measure based on the size of a head. So if you're drawing a whole body, you draw the head first, and then you can use that size to decide how big a body is gonna be. So a short person would be like five heads tall, like a child. And an adult, like a tall adult, or I guess maybe like a normal height adult, would probably be around eight heads tall. And then if they were taller, you would add more head lengths. So like this baby is short. So this baby is only four heads tall. And then if you're gonna do a caricature, you would make them really short or really tall. Now, when we, when we draw a body, we have a line of motion. So this is our line of motion. So if I'm just standing completely straight, you can draw a line down the center and you can draw your whole body on top of that line. And that's a line of motion. So if you're not moving, it's just straight ahead. But like this person right here is moving. And so their line of motion goes from this direction up. So if you think about how you want the person to be moving, you can always draw a line of motion and try to draw the body on top of that. Now, I'll tell you, it's not easy and you're not going to be perfect at it the first time. Okay. Um, your head is a measuring stick. We talked about that. So like... For your shoulder to your elbow, it's like a head and a half. From your hip to your knee, that's a head and a half. It's two heads from your like neck to the bottom of your uh, torso. And then your knee to your ankle is a head and a half. And your foot is equal to one of your heads. So if you put your foot on your head, they should be pretty close to the same size. It's pretty cool. And guys, that's the end. Play with it. That's all I can tell you. You can play with it. You can try different things. You can try to make caricatures. You can do this realistically. I always encourage kids to do it realistically first and then go into the caricature territory because I think you need to understand what it looks like when it's realistic and how that feels before you can accurately make it not realistic or go into cartoons or car caricatures. I know that there's a lot of you guys that love anime. It's awesome. Anime is great, but we don't want to get caught in only drawing in that anime style because there's so much that you haven't learned before you do that style. So learning how to do realism and realistic proportions and then starting to draw anime is actually a much better way to do it because it's gonna make your anime drawings even stronger. So I, I just wanna tell you guys to have as much fun as you can. Pull this slideshow back up if you need to. Go through and look at these proportions. And remember that we all struggle with this before we get good at it. You're not gonna be great. You're not gonna be great day one drawing people drawing faces, drawing bodies. You're not going to be good day one. But with work and, and working hard and trying very hard and keeping at it,
you will do great.